Hello and warm welcome to another workshop about a Mopodix Hub with the new thermal dashboard. This thermal dashboard allows now to visualize in the layout of the desk client not only the camera image, the camera stream, now you can combine that as well with the temperature graphs, with the temperature plots which are produced or measured by the thermal measurement windows of the Mopodix thermal camera. We have set up here an example of one of that layouts in combination with a dual camera. And if we starting here to explain what we see, if we going here on the waste area plot, which is in the lower left part here, it's a green line. And we go with the mouse over, a user get immediately as an overlay mouse over uh, information, which uh, measurement window is that? We have called that, in this case, level one. We see the date and time and we see the measured temperature. And if we take a look in the live image, uh, there we will see also in the area from my colleague here on the shoulder area, there is an, an spot marker, a thermal spot marker, which is called level one and shows that it's at a 32.25 Celsius degrees. There you get also an indicator in which area this temperature was happened in the past. So this is a good identification what is possible with that kind of identification. If we uh, take, for example, the level four plot, which is in the right upper side with the blue line, there we see we have uh, also a an, an, an red line in that uh, plot. This red line shows the threshold. And here we have defined, in this case, two thresholds, one above, uh, 45 degrees and one when it's it lower than zero degrees. If we are only concentrating on the upper threshold with the 45, uh, what is the reaction, the alarming, when we're using that? For that we have prepared a, a hot cup uh, of coffee and if we put that cup inside the measurement window, then we can recognize, the thermal plot has recognized, oh, the temperature gets above that 45 uh, degrees and gives for the operator a visual alarm in a red border. The color is free, definable. In the configuration we have chosen for this example, simply the red color. And in addition, we see also the spot area in the live image. If we go with the mouse over, you see the level four is also red framed and shows the current temperature and the object which has producing this temperature. And in addition, we have activated the dual image uh, area support where we can identify even on the, let us say, the normal sensor, which object has really producing the temperature. And there we can also get a confirmation, yes, the cup of coffee has producing this uh, alarm message. And then we can initiate any kind of uh, prevention reactions to avoid any higher risk in the next minutes. Um, that it's maybe, let us say, the monitoring possibility in the live mode. And if we, exam for example, pressing on, on the level four spot meter on the temperature graph on a, on a peak on that blue line and make a double click on it, then we switch automatically to the playback and then we, then we can start with our analyzing. Where we can using the normal playback control of the hub where to play forward and backward in the scene, or we even can go back with the mouse to the level four plot in the uh, upper right area in the desk client and clicking on one of the peaks of the blue line. Let us choosing this one. And suddenly the navigation, the playback will position exactly to this time where the, uh, the temperature was measured. And there we can clearly analyze, in this case, we follow a little bit our cup of uh, coffee in the, in the image here, yeah, which has triggered constantly the different temperature. So this is also a nice functionality if you want to make some kind of analyzing why the temperature increase, how I can prevent that. Is there any um, situation which I now identify via the video footage? A nice combination uh, to use that also in the playback functionality. At the end of a user operation, maybe we need to document this kind of scenario. And there we have also a possibility to export that uh, um, informations 
by the way, for example, we zoom now a little bit in to shrink a little bit the, the time where we want to export, yeah? then right mouse click, and then we def uh, pressing or selecting the export of the data. Define uh, the target folder where the export should uh, be uh, taking place. And then you see in the upper right corner that uh, progress bar which shows how far the export is there. And until that export is done, then we can show here the results. Uh, let us wait a second. And until the export is done, then the system has provided us three different files. One file is the CSV file. The CSV file we can, or in this case what we see right now, is the plot of the thermal graph, yeah, what we have exported, that yeah, was the blue line. In addition, we get also a reference image of the camera to see which camera we're talking about. Yes, is this double thermal camera what we see? And in addition, we got also a comma separated uh, file with all the temperature values and we can add that to Excel um, and then simply grading with the Excel tools or with any um, other similar programs defining our diagram, our graph and creating our analytic output. That is a simple way how to get the data out of it. I think now we have covered a lot of functionalities, how to use the system uh, and so on. And now we can concentrating on what kind of settings I can set in that um, layout. And for that we go to the setup mode of the desk client. And there we are in the setup mode. And there we can, with the right mouse click on the thermograph, we can define the behavior of that thermograph. Here we can define which thermal lines from the thermal measurement windows of this thermal camera, a lot of thermal in the, in the sentence, uh, we can define to visualize in that uh, thermal plot. We can choose all of them, only one of them, two of them, doesn't matter. We can also change in the color uh, of each line and even the spot meter. By um, the camera itself, it's providing up to 20 measurement windows. All the 20 measurement win windows plus the radiometry spot meter can be visualized in that thermal graph. Um, in addition, we can also define the thresholds as we have seen before. Here we can configure the thresholds. Uh, a user can add as many thresholds he want. Yeah? In this case, we have four thresholds. We can define thresholds for upper or for lower um, threshold behavior and we also can define the color which should be used for this threshold in the thermal graph. Um, if we're going to the thermal spots, there we have also the possibility to enable the dual image support that it's to mirroring the area which was detected on the thermal image to mirror that uh, marking of the area in the normal eye. There you can define that should be happen on both, only on the left, only on the right, or it should be off. This is also a kind of possibility what you can do. If we are closing for a second this setup dialog, and if we talk about the possibility to be flexible, define the layouts, and therefore we have on the left-hand side um, in our site navigation prepared a, a bunch of different possible layouts, uh, which shows how flexible the system would be. Yeah? If we uh, see here, we have now a, a different type of layout. Let us selecting another one to give you here a kind of slideshow, how that could look like, yeah? uh, what we have predefined. Here we have for example with two cameras and only with one plot. Yeah? If we're selecting the, another view, there we have here different thresholds with different colors in the alarming defined here yeah? um, or if we selecting one of the another one there you can see two cameras and even um, the area for the thermal plot in the center it's also now um, a, a larger view for the waste area one it's it's, it's for example um, uh, used in this case here yeah? or if we're selecting a, another view there we can also define let us say as many thermal graphs, as many cameras as the PC can visualize. Yeah? Uh, even a, a traditional quad view is possible. Yeah? 
I don't know if you have another nice example. Yeah, maybe this could be also if you're concentrating only on one camera and want to see the thermal plot on the full way wide of the screen, that is also possible to define that. And there we have also then the different visualizations of the thermal spot areas. I think this gives a nice overview that you're more or less unlimited flexible in combining camera live streams together with the thermal graphs. If we are talking about how to configure a new layout, simple enable the setup dialog, go to the view area, define the, um, the aspect ratio, and then define your layouts, taking a camera via drag and drop, adding the camera to your grid element, and you have then on the left hand side the new Mopotix thermal graph, what you can also put with a drag and drop. And um, the next step is selecting the camera. In this case, we have only this camera um, placed here, yeah? and then we are selecting here the cameras, but we have also the possibility to choosing any cameras which is providing the thermal data from our list. And then, as you have seen before, we can define here which thermal graph should be displayed or which threshold should be defined. You see the configuration of that layout is quite simple and very flexible. So I think we have covered almost um, the possibilities, what we, how we can use the thermal dashboard in the desk client and how we can configure that in the desk client. Maybe we can also enabling the, uh, the legend yeah, that we also can see that how to defining a legend. Maybe this is uh, the last thing what we have not done before to uh, keep that as well. And this is uh, outside of the um, edit mode and therefore right mouse click on the uh, graph that the user can define. I need to see the legend or I don't want to see the legend. It's up to the user to do that. Um, the last maybe notable configuration what we need to talk about that you have seen and uh, be aware of that is in the management client. For that we um, will close in here for one second the desk client or simply switching to the management client and in the management client on the left hand side navigation we have a new category it's called Mobotic Thermal Graphs and in this Thermal Graphs you can change the general behavior of the desk client thermal graphs. Of course, you can choose in between the different temperature unit between Celsius or Fahrenheit. And even you can define the default scaling parameters of the thermal graphs itself. At the moment, we show uh, um, as default uh, the maximum temperature up to 80 degrees from zero degrees, but we also can adjust this to say we have um, a an, an process which works in a much higher temperature range. I need to see the spectrum from 100 degrees to 280 degrees that you also can define within um, the general settings in a Mobotix thermal graph in the management client. I hope um, that provides you a nice overview how powerful that new thermal dashboard is and um, you can download that for the Mobotics Hub via our website mobotics.com. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.